Now I'm going to show you how to create a Google Doc. You have a couple of different options on how to get to the Google Docs. One is laid out here in the directions, uh, the example video on how to use Google Docs and personal files. But I'd also like to show you uh, a different way that you can do that. And this is my preferred method. So one, you can just open up a new internet tab and type www.google.com slash docs. But that takes you directly to Google Docs and doesn't always let you know all the features that are available to you in your Google Suites. So if you just Google Google and go to the Google homepage, from here you're able to see in the top right corner nine squares. And these are your Google apps. If you click on those, you'll be able to get to your Google Drive, which is basically your free online flash drive that any file you create, whether it's a doc, a sheet, or a slide, will all be found here. Any images you saved, any of that is in your drive. Um, you could directly access your Gmail as well. Um, and then if we scroll down, you can also find right here in the blue, there we go, the Google Docs. This is also, as you see next to it, is the Sheets and Slides. Slides is your free version of Microsoft PowerPoint available through Google. It doesn't have quite as many features, but it is a nice presentation option. But our concern is the docs. So we click on that on the blue page, blue page icon, and that will take us to our sign in page. Now, if you've previously signed in on this on your device, it will pop up with that option for you. Otherwise, you would need to use another account or um, if you have older accounts on there you don't want any more, you can remove them, but the use another account would then let you put in your full C LCC email address, which should just be something like your last name, first initial at my.lowercolumbia.edu. So once I select the email account I want to use, and it's essential that you use your LCC email account because Canvas is able to connect directly to it. So if you used a personal Gmail account to do your typing, you will not be able to directly submit assignments from your Google Drive or your Google Docs because Canvas just can't find it. So you would then put in your password and hit next. And it needs to think for a minute. Okay, and then as it processes, you'll see up at the top, there are options for templates on essays, reports, and whatnot. Well, you don't really need any of those, but what you do need is the, the left option says blank, and it's got the plus sign, the colorful plus sign on it. This is what you're going to choose for starting a new document. Now, the great thing about Google Docs is any file you create is automatically saved here forever. So you don't have to be afraid of losing stuff. It's all right here to be able to access, go in, revisit, edit, modify, share it, all these great features. So we're going to hit the blank plus sign. And then from there, you have your document that you can do all of your typing in. It's very important that you go up into the top left where it says Untitled Document. Click on it, and once it's highlighted in blue, you can then rename it. Rename it whatever the name of the assignment is so that it's easy to find later on and submit. If you want to go back to your list of Google Docs, just hit the blue page icon. it'll take you back to your list of documents. If you notice, the page I just created did not show up. That's because I didn't type anything. If I would have even just hit one key, Google would have automatically saved that for me, so it would have saved it as an untitled document. But this is a great feature. Please do all of your typing assignments within Google Docs.